Flynn here from Bat and Ball Cricket. Guys, thanks for checking in another one of my gear review videos. Guys, today coming at you with a review of the SS Limited Edition Batting Gloves, used widely over the last few seasons by Kumar Sangakara from Sri Lanka. Guys, got a review today of not only the 2014 version of the gloves, but the 2015 version as well, because I've, uh, I've picked up uh, two sets in preparation for the upcoming Australian summer. Guys, getting straight into the review of these gloves, of course, used by Sankara, so test match quality gloves. These are the pre-bent uh, sausage design gloves, as a fair majority of the, uh, the international test, or, or rather the test players, do prefer the pre-bent um, uh, sausage finger design. Now, if this is your first one of the videos um, checking out, I'll explain what that means. So if you actually look at the fingers of the glove, they are actually pre-bent, and when you actually look at them, they do look like um, a, a bit of a sausage. Now they are a better protection because there are no splits in the fingers, and so that's why a lot of the test arena players do prefer the sausage finger glove. Um, features of this glove, high density foam across all fingers. You also then have each one of the separate fingers have, uh, have, high, uh, sorry, have a fiberglass insert as well. And um, look, these guys are actually pretty, pretty flexible as well. Um, what a lot of people don't like about, uh, about sausage finger gloves is you lose flexibility in them. Um, you can see there as I'm moving my hand, you do get reasonably good flexibility. Now the reason for that is these are actually a really well designed glove because you do get these splits um, sort of across around sort of my, my knuckle and, and over the, the top part of my hand. Um, and so those splits do give you some reasonably good flexibility. Um, so look, a lot of people do not like the sausage finger design because of the fact that they don't give you the flexibility, but these guys are, are still reasonably flexible as well. Going around the other features of the, of the glove, now these guys are a, uh, are a Pittards or a genuine English Pittards leather palm. Now, cricket gloves, uh, there are generally three types of, um, uh, of leather used on the palms, and that's calf leather, sheep leather, or pittards. Now, pittards is, is, depending on who you talk to, the top of the range, and that's because it's got a, a, an actual feature that repels moisture not only from the inside, but the outside as well. So most people throw out their gloves long before the protection is actually worn away. Um, it's because the actual, the, uh, the actual palms um, have become that sort of crusty and absorb so much moisture that you can't grip the grip the bat any longer, or is actually you know cracked and and um, and, and is actually worn away. Pittards is a feature that's designed um, to stop that from from happening. There are a couple of different types of pittards. Um, so these guys are genuine English pittards. So when you actually have the have the glove, they do actually have um, a little tag on them here that uh, that says um, English or that does actually say pittards. Um, there are a couple of other brands. Um, I, I know um, in one of my other reviews of uh, of SG gloves, they have a uh, what's called Cougar um, pitards, so it's not the genuine um, English pitards. Similar type product, similar idea, just a different company that actually produces the, the leather. All right, continuing around the glove. Um, uh, as you'd expect, test match quality glove, so there's um, uh, protection on the, uh, the actual side of both the top and bottom hand. And of course, on the uh, the actual forefinger or the two bottom fingers on the uh, on the bottom hand, there is um, some additional hard wearing plastic pieces there to um, to help deflect the ball and give you that uh, that extra protection as well. Quite a big thumb on these guys. Uh, oh, that's one of the things that I did notice when I was doing my research before getting these gloves. That they do actually have a fairly good um, um, thumb padding as well. Uh, not to mention also these good bits of ventilation through uh, through the glove as well. A uh, couple of um, final um, um, features to talk about. Fully leather actually through the back of the glove. I know a lot of the Indian brands tend to be um, uh, made not to quite that same high standard, and so they don't have those um, those fully leather um, back or, or back of hand pieces where the actual protection is sewn onto. But pleased to see that these guys are fully um, uh, fully leather. Other last couple of features to talk about are the fully embossed pieces over the logo. So the actual um, logo across the sort of the knuckle um, back of the back of the hand area, as well as actually the fastening strap are all are all fully embossed logos. Now, guys, you're probably wondering what's the difference between the 2014 and the 2015 versions. So in my left hand is the 2014 version, 
and in my right is the 2015 version. Now when you look at them, they are very, very similar. There are slight differences that you'll pick up. Across the uh, knuckle area here in the 2014 version, that's completely black. If we look over here on the, uh, the 2015 version of the glove, that's actually silver on the outside with uh, then sort of uh, little dots progressing to, uh, to the black in the middle. If we actually then look at the embossed logos on the glove, uh, again on the 2014, it's predominantly blue around the, uh, the SS logo, and the 2015 is predominantly black. That's also consistent then across the actual embossed logos at the back. Again, 2014 predominantly blue, 2015 uh, predominantly black. And then the last um, feature that does, or um, oh, sorry, there's two, two more features. Um, 2014 version, the, uh, the actual um, uh, elastic pieces joining the palm and, uh, and the back of the glove are actually black, grey and blue whereas in the 2015 version, that's completely white. The last final piece that I've been able to determine with the differences between the two gloves is in the 2014 version, the gray extra wear patch on each glove is actually that um, um, the, the competitor's non-genuine non pitard, so it's the Cougar pitards type, um, um, type material. Whereas on the 2015, that's actually a grey pitards that actually does, does appear there. Guys, one um, last final piece to mention about these gloves is um, when you actually get them from, a, from an authorised retailer, you do actually get uh, an SS glove bag. Um, so just to, to give you an idea of those, uh, very good quality um, uh, glove bag. Look, I'm, I'm fairly picky about what my gloves come in. I do like to keep them in there, the packaging that they do come in, just because that's nice and keeps your, your kit nice and organised. These guys come with a nice uh, bag uh, that does have that ventilation on the, on the side. So if you, if you have actually spent uh, you know, an NetSea, a fairly long net session, uh, or you've batted last for the, for the day and you need to put your gloves straight back into your kit bag, you do have the ability for your gloves to actually get some breathing in your kit bag if you haven't had time to sort of put them out in the sun or, or give them a chance to breathe before going into your, into your kit bag. It's not um, quite the same as them going into a full, um, you know, a full plastic bag and then just um, you know, festering up in there. Of course, the one thing I didn't mention about is actually the, uh, the quality. Because um, I've been really, really happy with these gloves so far. I've had about um, half a dozen net sessions in the 2014 version. I haven't, um, I haven't worn the 2015 version yet because I'm uh, planning to have those as my um, uh, set of gloves that I'm going to use in, in matches once I'm back from, uh, from injury. Being very, very happy. I'm really happy with the flexibility, even though that they are a, um, uh, even though they're the, the pre-bent. Um, sausage finger design. I prefer, I have a, have a strong preference for those. Um, the one small thing to keep in mind about most of the, the brands that are sort of aimed at the sort of the Indian market, a lot of the SS's, SG's, SF, those types of brands, that the guys in, the, in those subcontinents areas are a little bit smaller, so consequently the gloves are a little bit of a smaller make. So if you do like your gloves nice and tight the way that I do, um, the, uh, the SS limited edition will be perfect, uh, perfect for you. Alright guys, so look that's my review of uh, not only the 2014 but also the 2015 uh, SS limited edition batting gloves. Uh, as always, happy to, uh, to have your feedback in your comments, um, so please don't hesitate in, uh, in leaving those. Alright guys, thanks for checking in and we'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.